I'm so excited. What is my hair doing? Hey buddy, what are you doing? Also, okay, first things first. We painted our living room, which is amazing because it's so much better than this horrible brown. And like, we see the trim, right? Painted it all white in there and it looks so much better. But that is not why we're here today. My birthday is Saturday and I have not been cross country schooling in a good year and a half, two years probably. And now, this Saturday, I found a place to go cross country schooling. I get to go cross country schooling on my birthday. Frick yeah. Gosh, my mom really made a mistake when she got me in person when I was little. Welcome to another day of what the hell life. Apparently new trucks are built a lot taller and that means that old horse trailers, specifically goosenecks, obviously bumper pole, this isn't really gonna be an issue. Goosenecks, there's a d difference in height and it means that you don't have the same clearance between the trailer frame and the truck bed and that, let's say, I don't know, a hill, anything that's not level ground, you go down and all of a sudden the trailer crushes your truck bed. Who knew this was an issue to look out for? I didn't. So PSA for anybody out there that for anybody out there that's looking to get a new truck and you have a gooseneck horse trailer, maybe double check your measurements. And you know, be aware that this apparently is an issue that I didn't realize. And I don't know about anybody else, but when I buy a new truck, I can't afford a new trailer to go with it. That's the truck trailer situation of how it doesn't fit. Okay, right, hair tie. Just gonna throw that in my messy ass tech room. Don't look in there. What do you have to say to the people? This is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> this is bullshit. That is like no space at all. Yeah, we can take the tailgate off, but turning, making a turn, that's still gonna come over the truck bed. I mean, that's only a really slight hill. Which means we can't make it in our driveway. What's this doing at? Two and a half inches on a tiny hill. Oh my god. I like your hat. Thanks. I got it myself. <laughs> From in the closet. <laughs> Somebody one day is gonna think that you yourself are an inventor. Maybe I am. Maybe, Maybe I'm, I'm not. It's <laughs> loose now. This will drop. It helps that both of our old trucks were right around the year of this trailer as well. I honestly didn't think an older trailer... On a new truck? Yeah, that issue. never crossed my mind. Yeah. Like we were looking for a truck with a hitch. I didn't think we had to look for a truck with a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Trailer's not sitting horribly level. And we still don't know if that will actually give us more space between the truck bed and the frame. Oh, that's a lot more. But it's not on the hill. Yeah, they say six inches on level ground. What's it sitting at? Six and five eighths. Also, we do have a tape measure. Yeah. For some reason, I was in a rush and I grabbed a ruler. That's approximately three inches higher than the rear. We've adjusted the trailer slightly to where, what would you call that part that we lowered? Do we lower it or heighten it? Uh, we lengthened it so that the front of the trailer sits higher now. But now, as you can see, the trailer doesn't sit level, which means my horse is gonna be trailering at an, a beautiful angle. And then the ramp off the back, because I have a straight load, means the ramp is a lot steeper, and that's a whole mess of problems all on its own. Technically, the, lamps, the ramp is less steep now because the low, back end of the trailer is lower. I wasn't looking for logic in this. <laughs> Just wanna complain. That's life today. Are we stressed out about it? A little bit, yeah. No, smile, this is pure anxious. Yay. It's cross country schooling day. I am so excited. Any other inventor out there will fully understand how excited I am to go cross country schooling for the first time in months. But now I need to figure out what I'm wearing and I'm trying to figure out, you know, do I want to look professional? Do I want to look like I just, you know, casually showed up and look awesome? I'm trying to figure out, you know, what my vibe I'm going for is and so far, Decided that I should wear pants. And that's about all I got. You make me nervous. I think I might be hooked on you. I love the 
things you said, you said to me, to me It seems like you like me too We can take it slow, make sure we do this right Canceled all my plans to be <laughs> I got a luggage strap wrapped around my saddle Because for some reason, with these narrow saddle stands in here, um, my saddles fall off in transport. And I'm not a particularly big fan of my really nice saddles just crashing to the ground in a heap and getting damaged, you know? <laughs> All right, gotta go grab Trin. Oh crap, the dog's in the pasture. Milton! Mills! Hey, hey, you aggressive little hussy, come here. Come here. Come here. You, you little troublemaker. Yes, you're doing so good. Everyone always asks for an update on my free Craigslist dog. There he is. There's Tefters. He's a good boy. He's three years old now. He's freaking awesome. And now we have that one, which we got from Free from Florida. And we have this one now, who is a stray, who is the ex bait dog and is very, very dog aggressive. He's with other dogs. He just like attacks them and tries to kill them. So having three dogs, one being extremely aggressive, is very difficult. Look, we came just in time. Everyone's leaving. Perfect. jump her at all. Good girl, she's already sweating up a storm. Oh gosh, everybody knows. <coughs> Rona, that was so good. I can't believe how good she is. And our banks? Oh. Who needs speed for banks? You're like the um after someone like finishes their Rolex run, they have like the camera immediately in their face I'm like how was that run? And the rider's like it was great! That's what I feel like. Except for I was doing what? Novice beginner novice and uh, still out of breath. <laughs> I'm impressed. Did you just lower your voice with the camera? I'm impressed. <laughs> you want you want to take it? Yeah, I can take it. Oh goodness. There you go. Ah! All right, that's my chest. Hey there. I am just I'm ecstatic. She was so freaking good. If you don't want to hear how my ride goes, then um, and I'll skip past whatever this time frame is. Anyways. She was incredible. Like, I worked yesterday, I did Cavalettis, really small, just like 18 inch Cavalettis, and I worked on trotting up to the Cavaletti, over, and then halting on the back side after, you know, like a handful of strides, and then turning right back around and coming back over and just working on keeping that relaxation and the nice steady rhythm into it, and that translated so well today's cross country ride. There was like a few times where I felt myself wanting to just like clamp down with my seat and apply my leg, 
when I felt uncertain, like I didn't see a distance, I had to, you know, fight myself, keep myself up in half seat, not sit down in the saddle, and wait for the jump to come to us. Oh, I am so freaking happy with this. Oh. Best birthday ever. We haven't jumped since freaking, I don't know, January, other than small Cavaletti a handful of times over the last two weeks. I haven't done anything. And so I was just came out here, I just wanted to do low level stuff, beginner novice, novice, keep it simple, and just work on really getting good quality jump, good quality gates all the way through, that we're not fighting one another. And I freaking got that today. That was all I was going for, and we nailed it. I am awesome, she is awesome. Gosh, I am just, I'm over the moon right now. Hello, humble, don't know who she is. Oh, dang it, I hate when that happens. Um, I have to pee. Good girl. And you like the bitchies? Good girl. I gotta get this side. Okay, you take her bit. Oh, still attached to the horse. Falter me. Uh -huh. Alright. Oh, we got ropes. Wait, can I catch you? Get all her nasty rubbiness off of it. That's her drinking water. And, voila. I got a clean bit for tomorrow. Oh gosh, I am so happy. I take a shot every time I say I'm so happy. You're gonna wanna have alcohol poisoning. Unless you're taking a shot of milk, then you're gonna have just a horrible time later tonight. Why do you do this? God dang it. You ready? Tell my hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the, also, it's the wedgie after the ride that really gets to me. Ugh, my strips aren't even rolled up. Oh, don't try to bring that. This is pathetic. What am I doing with my life? Why are those hanging? Why are your stirrups so hanging low? I don't know, man. Leave me alone. Let's just take our time. Dropping everything because you're stuck on my mind. My mind. So just. <laughs> walk by and put gum in the back of our freaking truck. You're a gum thrower in the back of a truck thrower? You're a piece of shit.